What's up, Palios? Welcome back to another video by Jillian Weber. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoyed yourself to... What's up, Palios? Welcome back to the channel of Jillian Weber. I'm so glad you can make it. How are you today? Good, I'm assuming. Why'd I wink? Oh my god. What's up, Palios? Welcome back to the Jillian channel. I'm so glad you can make it here. I love having guests. I don't know. What's up, Palios? How are you doing today? It's Jillian Weber. I'm so glad you could be here on my channel today. I hope you enjoy yourself, and if you do, subscribe so you can come back for the future. Anyways, today we're doing a story time. Story time? Me explaining something? Sounds awful. I'm going to be talking about my experience in middle school and in high school. Yeah, what could have happened to Jillian in middle school and high school? Well, it's actually about teachers. Back in, was it like sixth grade? Maybe sixth grade, seventh grade? I had a teacher, and this is just so stupid because back when I was at this age, I was doing musically, and of course they were cringy. I put them in fast motion, and so my body was like, at the time, I was like fast motion so I could actually hit the beats, and people thought they were cringy. I got made fun of, um, I got talked about, blah, blah, blah. Didn't matter. I don't care what people think and suck a wee wee, but my teacher. I told her I was on famous birthdays because I was so proud of myself like I'm in maybe I was even in eighth grade but I was like I'm at this age where I'm already like like this is huge for me famous birthdays that was insane but anyways I told her because I thought that maybe she would understand she was kind of younger and maybe she would be a little supportive but instead she literally told me I was only on there because of my brother. And that's why even today I have a really hard time soaking up when people tell me that I've gotten this far because of my brothers. Like my brothers have done big things and I couldn't be more proud of them and I will never stop supporting them. But although they obviously influence and they they inspire me, I would I give myself 100% credit because I'm in Kansas doing what I can to get a career that I've wanted since I was literally on Facebook trying to post dances so that people could see. So it just kind of hurt to like fact that even though I've won it for so long because my brothers were bigger than me that I didn't get that recognition. Nothing against them. They didn't do anything wrong. It's just what people think. So when my teacher said that I was like wow. Teachers they don't know what's going on in someone's life so they should be inspiring and I would take my mom as a perfect example of that because no matter what your dream is my mom is the number one person to say you can do it and she's been that way since day one but it was just like that was a, that's this just like my little story time me just kind of expressing my time in the middle school and high school we'll get into high school later but See, I'm really bad at explaining things. My mind just goes boing, 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 boing. So she told me that I was only on there because of my brother, basically. And I tried telling her, like, no, I do musically. I'm getting bigger on musically, even though I really wasn't at the time. But I was, like, making progress, and that's all that mattered to me. And the fact that I was on there was cool. Anyways, I went to high school, right? I'm in choir. I would go in there feeling really proud of myself because at this time in my life, I was gaining, like, a 1,000 followers a day. On Musical.ly because Musical.ly wasn't getting all the recognition it used to so at this time I was still going I never quit even give me really the time of day I would tell her and she'd just be like blah but I always said it because I like it was exciting gosh dang I I'm never one to just like brag about stuff I really don't even talk about it I I try not to because I don't want people thinking that I'm bragging about any kind of success I have I just don't want that so I was quitting choir and she she said you're not going to be a performer if you quit choir and I said why would I what does choir have to do with anything that I want to do in my future I wanted to be a backup dancer I didn't still 
would be kind of cool. It's not, it's still, I've never been a singer. Like, occasionally I would lip sync because he didn't want to hear it. He told me that and I was like, do you not know what I'm actually interested in? Like, all this time I've been coming to you because, you know, I thought that sometime, so I just wanted that like, wow, I'm proud of you kind of moment. Like, I obviously get it at home, but like at school it's like different because Especially when you're a performing teacher. I was like, no, I don't want to be a singer. And she was like, oh. My overall thing is, no matter who you are, please tell that child, that teenager, that any anyone, tell them that they can literally do it. I watched Amber Shaw's. Is it Shaw? If I said the wrong, so sorry. But anyways, I watched her video today, actually. And... She was saying like dream day make your daydream like a reality or something like that. And I was just like that's kinda like my message I guess today. Because I want everyone to be so much more supportive. I felt like growing up school, school is like the base, you know? Like you have to go there like every day. And if you're not getting inspired by people you're around constantly, then why why are they working there, honestly? Like my mom is in a perfect spot because she's the number one like she's so supportive and she truly believes that like you can do anything you put your mind to i think teaching is really special because you get that connection with kids and you get to teach them something but if you're not teaching them more than just freaking math then get out it's so much more than that yeah that's something i kind of wish i had i did of course i had it in other grades but it's just like those were really big especially at that age because i wanted to be something and it just kind of tore me down because I was excited and you know I'm going to give you a little message my friend on the other side of the screen I don't know what your goals are if that's your dream then make it happen but don't make excuses like you can't do something because no matter where you're at I know it's like there's challenges obstacles but no matter where you're at there's a way in Kansas in a small town people are like why is that kid filming? Like, is he actually gonna, does he believe that he's gonna be a big star one day? Jake is a big star, you know? And so is Reggie. Because they took what they had, they worked hard, and they made it happen. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope it touched your heart a little bit. I just want to use this channel as something people can come to. I don't care what age or whatever, unless it's like creepy way, but we're all friends. Us family, we're going to do big things in the world. We all are. Have a great day. I love you all.